And this is why the people who dedicated themselves to worship, they would often do so in a very small space that was dimly lit. And if you've ever visited the khalwa places of many of the salihin in many Muslim countries, you can find places where great ulama and great salihin uh, would engage in ibadah. And they're usually very tight. They don't have all these windows and all the, these things coming in. They're usually, or if there is a window, it's kind of covered with a, you know, like a wooden covering or something just to get a little bit of light in. And they're not distracted by anything of the world. It's very simple. And it's almost kind of, you know, cramped. And how many people would actually go and read Quran? And, you know, we hear of the Salihin who would dig their own grave and read do khatams of Quran in their graves. Why? Because it helps you have presence of heart. This is, this is, I'm not distracted by anything in the world in a place like this or in a moment like this. No. So you found that many people in this ummah of the great Salihin, they would engage in their ibadah in a very small and dimly lit place that was only big enough for them to actually engage in sujood. لِيَكُونَ ذَلِكَ أَجْمَعْ لِلْهَمْ So because that place helped actually collect all of their focus and remain focused and determined to only be present in the prayer. minhum, And the, those who were, had a, a strength and a great ability, Even when they would attend the prayer in the masjid, they would still keep their sight in the place of their sujood. They wouldn't look around. Even those who had a certain level of experience and steadfastness in their ibadah, even then, to be care they would be careful. 